Hello everyone, my name is Mr. J.M. Kimani, a lecturer in Management Accounting. Welcome to Lesson 8. This is a continuation of Lesson 7 concerning the joint products. Specifically, I'm looking at joint products. We are looking at some more examples concerning joint products. We have already discussed in lesson uh, 7 about the physical unit method, the sales value method, and the net raisable value method. Now, <clears throat> for us to still work on those methods, we would like, uh, like us to have another example or another illustration so that we can be able to have some more insights in the area. Now, <clears throat> the question reads, the West Africa Industries Limited buys crude vegetable oil. The refining of these oils results in four products, A, B, C, which are liquids, and D, which is a heavy residue. The cost of the oil refined in the year 2012 was shillings 1,104,000 and the refining department had total processing cost of shillings 1 million sorry of shillings 2.8 million the output and sales for the four products in 2012 were as follows we have the product column output in liters column Sales in shillings, additional processing cost, column. Product A, 2 million, 4.6 million, 1 uh, sorry, 1.2 million respectively. Product B, 40,000, 400,000, 240,000 respectively. Product C, 20,000, 160,000, none respectively. Num uh, product D, <coughs> 36,000, 1.2 million, 40,000, respectively. Required, number A, assume that the next, assume that the net raisable value of allocating joint cost is used. What is the net income of product A, B, C, and D? Joint cost is 3,904,000. Part B, the company has been tempted to sell at split off directly to other processors. If the alternative had been selected, sales per liter would have to be shillings 1.5 for product A, shillings 7 for product B, shillings 8 for product C, and shillings 30 for product D. What would the net income be for each product under these alternatives? End of question. So now in part A, we have to use the NRV method, and uh, therefore we need to have the specific uh, columns for us to have this understanding. So we are going to have this. And remember, even though part A, you have been already told uh, the hint that the joint cost is 3 million 9 or 4,000, even if it was not provided, you would have um, added the cost of oil uh, refined and then the refining, the cost of um, uh, processing in the refining department which is 2.8, so it's coming to 3,904,000. So we are going to have the columns this way. <coughs> so we have um, product, product, we have revenue, we have additional processing cost, so this is further cost, then you have net realizable value. And then uh, we have joint cost. Then you have uh, net income. These are the columns that we require. 
in our analysis. So the product, therefore, the revenue has been provided, everything is provided. So you have product A, B, C, D. <clears throat> the revenue has been given there as 4.6 million for product A, 4.6 million, 400,000 for product B, 160,000 for product C, and we have 1,200,000 for product C. Then there is further processing cost of 1.2 million for product A. There is a 240,000 for product B. There is none for product C. And there is 40,000 for product D. So now we are supposed to use the NRV method. So NRV is where we subtract the uh, further processing cost from the revenue. So our <coughs> cost shall be 4.6 million minus 1.2 million. This should give us 3 million point four. Then this is uh, 400 minus 240 is giving us 160,000. This is still 160,000. As uh, <coughs> the reason is that um, there is no further processing cost. This is 1200 minus 40. These um, uh, should give us 1160,000. So we require to add these three columns as they are necessary. The NRV in total. 1160,000, you add 160, you add 160 again, and you add 3,400. This is giving us 4,088,000. Now, <clears throat> we are supposed to use this to share the cost, joint cost, of 3,904,000 as provided. So we'll have that uh, product A is uh, 3.4 million, we divide, four, uh, sorry, this is 3.4 million. So 3.4 million divided by 4,880,000. You multiply 3,904,000 equals to product B is one sixty. Thousand divided by forty-eight eighty thousand times thirty-nine zero four equals to product C the same is still one sixty thousand divided by forty-eight eight thousand times three million nine oh four thousand and then we have a product D. Product D is 1160,000 divided by 48,000 multiplied by 3904,000. 0, so we are having this calculation that uh, the first one is uh, 3.4, and this was a mistake, is 3,400,000. So this we have. That uh, 3400 or that 400 divided by 4880 multiply by 3904,000. Um, this is coming to 2,720,000. 2,720,000 million Then 160 divided by 4880 multiply by that 904,000. This is 128,000. 128,000, which is the same as here. 128,000. Then you have uh, 1160 divided by 4880 times 3904,000. This is 928,000. So you transfer here. Joint cost, this is 2,720,000. This is uh, 128,000 
128,000 and we have 928,000. That is how we share uh, the costs. <coughs> then now to determine the net income, you just take the NRV of 3400 or 3.4 million, you subtract the 2720,000, which is 680,000 680, is the net income. Uh, we said that you can also take the revenue, you subtract further cost, you subtract the joint cost, we still get the same figure of 680,000. Then um, there is um, the NRV of 160,000, you subtract 128, this is giving us that 2,000. Uh, which is the same here, that's 2,000. Then there is 1160 minus 928, which is uh, 232,000. Now, note that <coughs> we have equal uh, distribution of joint cost to product B and C, as well as the net income. This is because the NRV is the same, even though the sale value were different. Uh, it's because product B has incurred a 240,000 further processing cost. Otherwise, if it was not spent, then of course there is a very big difference between the revenue of product B and product C. Product B would have a, a very high power of um, earning revenue. But again, remember, maybe for it to be saleable, we have to spend a total of 240,000. And that is something to note uh, concerning each, uh, these uh, kind of um, joint products. Then the net income, of course, is um, the 2.2 thousand plus that 2 plus that 2 plus the 680. This is giving us 976,000, which can also be um, <coughs> can also be added, or either we can analyze and um, uh, prove by taking 4880, subtracting that 904. Uh, that is how. Uh, we do and that's all about uh, that method we have used the nrv method there then the part b of this question is asking us that now we use the alternative method uh, at the split off meaning we use the sale method so the sale uh, value method so we are going to have this way so we have um roman 2 this is sale method or sale value method sale value method now this one is at split off points otherwise <coughs> what we have done in part in romano in part uh, part a this one is not at split, split off it is after we have done further processing so if you to do that <coughs> then you'll be having this this is a product we have revenue, we have uh, joint cost, <coughs> we have further cost, this further processing cost, um, we have net income. So products, we have revenue. We have joint, we have further processing cost, we have net income. So we have a product A, product B, product C, product um, D. I have <coughs> indicated the revenue in terms of price per unit. So we need to be multiplying. Uh, the number of units, like product A, the units are given there. The units given there are 2 million liters for product A. This is 2 million liters. We now sell them at the split off at shillings 1.5. So this is going to give us a revenue of 1.5 times 2 million. This is uh, 3 million. Then B, the units of B are 40,000. 
we sell them at a price or at a price at the split off of uh, shilling 7 this is a uh, 28000 product c the units for product c are 20000 we incur 8 shillings this is actually 160000 then you have the last one is product d which is that 6000 units so which we are going to income a cost of 30 so this will give us 36 times 30 this is um, 10 8 uh, thousand <laughs>